What's going on guys? Shooting Dave here. So good to see your faces. I hope you're all having a great week so far. Now it's another week so that means it's another tutorial and today, today we're talking about mastering layer masks inside Photoshop. Pretty cool right? So if you're one of the people that uses the eraser tool to get rid of bits of the image that you don't like, I'm coming for you. You see I hate that shit but that's okay because by the end of this video you'll know how to layer mask properly. So we're gonna jump into Lightroom and I'm gonna walk you through some tips and tricks on how to master layer masks. Let's do this. Okay, so here's the image that I've got and I've got this text over top saying masking. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna put that behind the car, but currently it's right in front of the car. So, all of you that use the eraser tool, you'd go in there, get the eraser tool and just start masking away at that. But we're not going to do that at all. We're going to do it the right way. So we're going to use a layer mask. So to do that, or where your layers are on the right hand side of Photoshop, you're going to come straight down to the bottom and you'll see this little icon here, you want to click that. Now, that's added a little box next to our layer. Uh, for, the, for us, that's text. So next to the text, we've got this white box. So the white means that everything on that layer is being shown. If it was a black layer, it would mean that nothing is being shown. So what we can actually do to this little layer mask is we can actually paint away the parts of the image that we don't want. So you want to select your brush tool, that's B on the keyboard, both Mac and Windows users. And then you've got these colors down here, you've got white and black. You can press X to switch between the two of them. And what we'll do is we'll come in a bit closer. And with your brush tool, you can just start brushing away parts of the image that you don't want. Basically the same as using your eraser tool. However, there is a slight change here. So currently, this layer mask is linked to the text. So if we unlink that, we can then move the text independent of that mask. Pretty cool. Now, obviously you wanna take your time doing this, so you want to go around and refine your mask as much as possible. So when you're doing it, you don't wanna use a big broad paintbrush because it's gonna have lots of spill and the edges will be all soft and that's not really particularly desirable. But don't worry, we haven't erased the image, we can bring back those bits. So. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna refill this layer mask here uh, with white. To do that, it's just Control or Command Backspace, and that'll bring it back. So if you make any mistakes, it doesn't matter. You can just go straight back in and readjust. So we're gonna come in here a bit closer, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use the same brush, set it to black, but we're gonna change the hardness to, let's say 100%, why not? And then we're just gonna come in nice and tight, and then we can start removing parts of the image. Now don't worry if you make a mistake, you now know how to adjust that, so we'll get rid of all these bits that we don't want, like so. And if you go too far, then you can just switch back to the white paintbrush, make it smaller, come in, and you get a cleaner edge again. That is one way of doing it. The way that I prefer to do it though is to actually use the pen tool. I do this on all of my light painted images. You see we have lots of layers that we're working with and we wanna make sure that we can control them. So you can actually add these layer masks to a group. So all the passes that I use for lighting the car, I put in a group and then I create a layer mask for that group so they only affect the car and not the background. So that's one of the ways that layer masks can, re can really help for you. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and quickly speed through this. I'm just gonna mask out the uh, text itself and then I'm gonna show you some little tricks that you can do with it as well. So give me a minute. Okay, so I've passed around the car now, so what we're gonna do is gonna right click and we go make selection, uh, feather radius, yeah, that's fine. So we're gonna, on our layer mask, we're gonna turn it back on. So here, we're gonna fill it, the area that we don't want to include with black. So for this, it's the background, so it's command and backspace, and there we go. We've now masked out masking behind the car, and as I mentioned earlier, you can now move this left and right because it is no longer linked to our mask. However, we do it when it linked to the mask, we can just retick it and then that mask will move around. But for now, we're gonna leave it unticked. Now, one thing 
that you may have noticed if you saw me pathing out the car is that we actually have a window here where some of it is still visible. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna path out that one and you can actually introduce a different color into your mask. You can actually use gray, which is like halfway between black and white, which means that it'll have like an opacity to it. So some of it will show through, but not all of it. So imagine that the windows are actually tinting the text a little bit, but it shows through. It'll, it'll make me more sense in a second. So just give me a second and I'll whip this one out for you. Okay, so now we've got that window selection, we're gonna come back onto our layer mask. Oh, no, I just ticked it back on. We're, yeah, back onto our layer mask, I'm gonna go edit, fill, and then in this way, we're not gonna choose pattern, we're gonna choose 50% gray, hit okay, and there you go. So now you can see that our text is showing up partially behind the car through the window. Now that's pretty cool. So if you wanna see what your layer mask is actually doing, you can just alt or option click onto your layer mask and it'll actually show you. So here you can see we have part of the car that we pathed out. We didn't need to do the whole car because the text doesn't go behind the whole car. And then we also have the window and as you can see that it's gray. So that area there is a little bit more opaque. So it's not 100% visible. It's not 100% invisible. It's kind of in the middle. So just click off of that if you want to see it. And there you have it. It's pretty straightforward. So masking, you really should be doing this because you can make many adjustments over the course of the fact that you're editing. So if you're just using the eraser tool on an image, getting rid of the pieces you don't like, that's all fine. But if you make a mistake or realize you made a mistake further on down the line, you're either gonna have to bring another layer in and do the same thing or throw it all away and start again. With layer masks, you can go back and adjust and readjust and adjust some more as much as you like. So it really does save you a lot of time when editing. And using pen tools, you can actually save these selections down so you can come back and revisit them. So you can store them in your past channel if you wanted. Maybe that's a video we'll go into in the future. But for now, I think this is enough. So hopefully you can stop using the eraser tool and start masking the right way. Well, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and hit me up on Instagram. That would be really appreciated. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.